Aphantasia is usually talked about like a lack of pictures in someone's head, and you may have seen images like this to talk about different levels of aphantasia. However, while aphantasia describes a lack of mental imagery, the word imagery here can also refer to any kind of mental representation, including of other senses. So what people talk about the most when it comes to aphantasia is actually visual aphantasia. I've started seeing people online talk about having or not having an internal monologue as well, and that can be thought of as a kind of auditory aphantasia. On the other side, there's also hyperphantasia, or having an extreme level of mental representation. For visual, that may be someone who tends to have incredibly detailed and immersive visualizations. And for the auditory, it may be someone who tends to hear complex and rich voices or music in their mind's ear. This is all a very new field of research, especially relating to non-visual aphantasia or hyperphantasia, and we don't have very good statistics on it yet. Something that makes the study of these mental types especially interesting is that people tend to have a bias that everyone else's experience of existence is roughly the same as their own. So people don't tend to really evaluate how they themselves are thinking or whether other people think the same way. They just think that they're thinking normally. What's your sensory experience of your mind?